There he is. Oh, got him. Oh my God, that thing's huge. What is that? What is that? Wasn't even looking. <laughs> he's juking and he's a driving and I cannot control him with this tiny little rod. <laughs> this is what I call fun. Bobber worked, bobber worked, bobber worked everybody. First cast into the new hole. And it's on. It is on like Donkey Kong <laughs> with the Sink It Series jig. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God, what is this? Ladies and gentlemen, what is this? I think this is a bull trout, everybody. Oh man, so we are not even gonna take this thing out of the water, but he just destroyed the Sink It Series jig. Oh, this is badass. What a way to start the episode. The age old debate between bobbers and lures. And so far, the bobber is in the lead in a big, big way. Look at this creature. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Total accidental catch. All we're really in store for today, we're looking for rainbow trout, brook trout, any sort of native trout or, or hatchery trout that's in this area. But on the very first cast of the day, the Sink It Series jig came through. Look at that. What an incredible beast. We're gonna get him right back to where he came from. Later, dude. Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another Addicted Fishing video. Today's video is all about the age-old debate of bobber versus lure. And like I said, in a big, big way, the bobber's in the lead. That was my very first cast so far of the morning with the Sink It Series jig. We better get it back out there. This is gonna be a really fun episode. We're on foot, we're in the mountains, we're hunting trout, and it's gonna be a good day. Oh, that's a good one too. That's a really nice rainbow. Really nice rainbow. Oh, second fish of the day. Second fish of the day for the bobber. Just drained it. Wow, this is a pretty looking fish. What a versatile setup. This is not something that we normally uh, would use for trout, but I've, I've just found it over the years, over the last couple years since we came out with these Sink It Series jigs that they absolutely crush rainbow trout. And you can see it here. We're doing the old red and black. The old faithful came through yet again. Fish number two of the day. Thank you, Mr. Sink It Series Jig. And thank you, Mr. Rainbow Tro Oh God, he ain't done yet. Nice barbless hook. Make sure these things are safe. And he's off. Yeah, yeah, baby. Fish number two. I'm wondering, guys, I wanna see some comments below whether you thought the Sink It Series was gonna do this kind of work. We have a lot of river to fish today, and this is only the first rock I've stood on, and we've got two nice fish so far, so. Did anybody's guess what's gonna happen now? Let's keep fishing. Okay, here we go. So far, we have two fish to zero, but I can't count out the lures yet because I haven't even touched one yet. One thing I really, really want to do today, and so it's a big goal of mine, and if you guys didn't see the Addicted video a few months back where I fished with Bill Herzog and Jared Higginbotham over in Eastern Washington, we twitched jigs for trout all day, and this is the perfect time of year. These fish are eating a lot of bugs, but a lot of times these things will go to a very, very aggro sort of state where they're eating everything they can. They're eating little bait fish, they're eating bugs, they're eating any sort of wounded prey that they can find because they're just filling themselves up for the winter. Um, but I am bound and determined today to catch some trout on those sink it series jigs on the quarter ounce sink it series jigs twitching them so that's going to be my big goal for today is to catch some fish twitching jigs as well as doing these sink it series jigs like this and then our micro worms is going to be another thing that i fish a lot today so we'll see how it goes so far bobber and jig is crushing oh oh i'm getting bit i'm getting bit eat it okay okay come on back for it come on back baby Come back to me. You know you want to. Give it a little movement, a little twiddle twiddle. Oh! Twiddle twiddle, twiddle twiddle. And then I, I, oh, there he is. Oh, got him. Oh my God, that thing's huge. What is that? What is that? Wasn't even looking. Got totally distracted by the camera guy, Sean, back here. Everybody comment below, way to go, Sean. Best bud bite right there. I don't know what this is, but this thing is freaking huge. Haven't really got a good look at it, but this is by far the biggest fish yet. Oh my God, it's absolutely massive. What is that? 
I think it's a steelhead. Whatever it is, it's very shiny. It's a very shiny thing. Oh, it is a steelhead. Come on, give me a jump, baby. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Holy moly, everybody. The Cinque Series is doing it all. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Looks like a wild fish. This might either be a giant wild rainbow coming out of the lake, or it's a steelhead. One of the two, but either none, nonetheless, so far we've caught three different species on the same Cinque Series jig. Bobber and Jig is killing it here today. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. Okay. All right. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Take it easy, I'm gonna let you go, baby. Whoa! Oh, oh, he's got a mind of his own. <laughs> wow, what a cool fish. Look at that, right in the beak of the nose. Such a beautiful fish. How cool. Wow. I must say, what a versatile setup so far. Let's get that jig out of her nose. Okay. See you later, sweetie. Thanks for playing. Bye-bye. <laughs> three different species, three different fish. I am digging this. I gotta keep trying this, so I'm gonna keep with the bobber because what we have to ultimately give the lures their chance. We're gonna switch areas here in just a little bit, but so far, this thing is working really good. Let's keep fishing. There's so many fish sitting right here in front of me. Oh, there's suckers. Oh, there's a big trout. Two big trout right here in front of me. Let's see if I can spot cast to them. Two big rainbows right here next to this rock. Got him. Oh yeah, that feels like a good rainbow. Oh, it's a really nice rainbow. I'm in the trees. Oh, fish number four. What could it be? Okay, it's okay, little. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, just the beauty of a rainbow. Man, you guys, the Sink It Series jig is kicking ass and taking names. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's a really nice rainbow. Woo! Look at the chunkiness of this thing. Oh, this thing is hatchery clipped, but it almost looks wild just by the coloration on it. This must be a holdover trout. Oh, geez, he's got a mind of his own. This one must be a holdover that's been here in the river for quite a while. What an incredible looking fish. Sinking series buried in the mouth. Let's get him back. There, oh, 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 there he goes. I think it's time we twitch. Sinking series obviously proving itself, but I want to switch around and see what other stuff we can find today. We are killing them so far today. High five. Okay, it is time we give a twitch a try. This is something I've been wanting to do a long time. And now it's summertime. Time to go. So what I have here, I have my ultralight SST. I got my blue and black sink it series. I like to go with the darker colors like this one. It's super duper bright outside. So let's see if it works. I'm just gonna do it just like I'm salmon fishing. This is basically what we're trying to imitate here is like a, a injured sculpin. So I'm just gonna do little short twitches. I'm not gonna do my traditional real hard twitch and let it fall, real hard twitch, let it fall. I'm gonna make it more of a quick, rapid presentation, kind of like this thing's hurt and trying to get away from these other predatory fish. So obviously we know there's just about everything here. We got rainbows, we got, ooh, what was that? We got rainbows, we got bullies, we got steelies, we got just about everything. We haven't caught a cutthroat yet, but I know those are here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I have a good feeling about this, ladies and gents. Do I do. There's a big rainbow right there. I can see one riding the boil. Oh, oh, don't swim away. Don't run away from your feelings. Oh, he was just chasing something. He was just getting some food. I can see him pretty good right here. Let's see if I can get him to chase this jig. Oh, he's sitting right there. This is the one I've been looking at this whole time. Oh, he came right up to the surface. Nope, he did not want it that time. I don't think I really got it in front of him though. He's really feeding hard on some natural stuff here. I can't really tell what it might be but I can tell he's in the feeding mode. No, he did not like that. 
I'm gonna move upriver of him just a little bit, see if I can get a little better look. Nope, didn't want nothing to do with it. Okay, so far, not so good with the twitching jig. I've visually seen one fish and he didn't want nothing to do with it. So let's keep trying it though. Can't knock it till you try it. All I know is when it happens, it's gonna be epic on this ultralight rod. The only reason I'm using a little bit bigger rod on the bobber rod so far is just fishability. I don't have any super long ultralight rods, so when I'm fishing the bobber setups, especially in a spot like this that's kind of wide, I want something that's a little longer like that. When we get into the smaller water later this afternoon, I'm gonna be using a smaller addicted trout float, the little fixed float, and probably some of the micro worms as well. So, But so far, while I was fishing this spot, I wanted something I could reach around, get a little bit further, and, and do a little bit more mending at a farther distance and it worked very well obviously Ooh. well we gave the twitching jig a fighting chance obviously they, they did not want it we threw it right in front of some fish visually but it's time we move let's go find a new fishing hole all right so we made it into a new area into a new hole but before we get fishing we're going to do a little what's in the bag segment so what I usually have when I do any sort of summer trout fishing is a few different rods. One for gear, one for bobbers, and one is kind of a, in the mix, kind of a, a versatile rod. These two rods are some of my favorite that I've been fishing with lately. Uh, one is set up with one of my very favorite setups, and this is what we're actually going to try to catch fish on next, rather than the Sink It Series jig. What I have here is a Guide Select Pro. This is the 7.6, 2 to 6 pound line rating, and I absolutely love this thing. Catching these little rainbows. A couple of the fish we caught here today already have obviously exceeded my expectation as far as size. Normally when you're fishing for these stalker rainbows, you're not going to be finding fish quite that big. But this is a great option. The Guide Select has an awesome warranty. If you break this rod, you can take it back to the store and get you a new one. Um, this one I have an RTX 30S on. You can go with any size reel. Really, you want to be within that 30 range or that 3000 range because that's going to be easiest for you to fish. What I have on here for line is a 20 pound addicted enforcer braid. Uh, and I really like that braided line, especially when I'm fishing these little addicted micro trout floats uh, because that line floats up on the surface of the water and it makes it really easy to mend when you're fishing a big body of water like we were today. I have a 10 pound bumper on here that I run down to my addicted trout float. And if you guys have never seen these before, this is the same as our steelhead float, but it's a sm size smaller so that you can fish these a little bit more of a micro presentations. Um, but I absolutely love this thing. Very simple setup. You've got two rubber grommets that go on each end. That line goes right through the bobber. You connect it right to the line and then you're able to slide that thing up and down and adjust your depth at any given hole. What I like to do in between there so that I'm not always losing my bobber because these things can be kind of hard to come by is I tie a little barrel swivel in between. I have an eight pound test down to my addicted micro worm. Obviously that one's been chewed up a time or two. The fish really, really like these things. So I have a little black mustad jig head, a little micro worm, and that's my first setup that I'm gonna show you guys. This is one of my favorites. And it's so much fun fishing kind of a, a steelhead style or a salmon style on these trout, um, especially in the middle of the summer like this when you can be hiking around away from the hot sun on these mountain streams and catching some beautiful trout. Setup number two is very similar, but this is my, my spinner and my lure setup. This is the same thing. This is an Okuma SST though, seven foot, uh, two to six pound line rating again. I have a 3000 series or a 30 series Kaimar reel. Again, the 20 pound enforcer braid. And I have an eight pound bumper of about 10 feet that I tie with a blood knot. And this is the one I was twitching the jig with. So when we get back out there, I'm gonna try some spinner presentations. I'm gonna switch to a spinner, get rid of my jig because that wasn't working. But that's another very, very fun ultralight setup. One thing that we've been most successful on today was our Sink It Series jigs. And this is just kind of a quick little rundown of the options. Um, I have the quarter ounces, I have the smaller ones, the eighths, I have the, the 16th ounce in, in another box in here. But having a good little range of, of colors, that pink color, the Santa Claus, the old black and red, and the old faithful black or red and white, um, can really make you more versatile and allow you to catch more fish. Today's probably the best that I've done on these Sink It Series jigs with the trout, but nevertheless, it's a very, very fun method. My spinner box is probably the one you guys are all wanting to see. And this is what my box looks like. It's a whole nasty mess, of course, but nevertheless, it's full of everything that works from the Brad's mini wigglers to the cast masters, which work really great. I have spoons in here. Of course, the alma mater Panther Martins. We have MEP spinners in here. 
Um, and really just all shapes and sizes. We have our little number two, number three blue foxes and never forget the rooster tails at home. Uh, but I, I really like to have that good variety of spinners so that if I can find out what those fish are biting, I can switch to it and it allows myself to stay on the fish and allows myself to be more effective and catch more fish throughout the day. So take a quick look at that nasty mess of a spinner box. Obviously it's, it's rooster tail dominated. So I think that's what we're gonna go with as soon as we get out there, we'll switch to a rooster tail, see if we can't get ourselves a fish on the line. Now, last but not least is my micro jigs. These things are my micro worms rather. And these things are probably be one of the most new and effective ways to catch these trout. These all come in all of our different addicted worm styles um, and colors. We got the blacks, we got the peachy pearl, we got the translucent pearl, we have the bubble gum, which is my favorite. We have the pink haze and we have the red haze. Uh, and all of them work very, very well given the right conditions and the right water and the right water clarities. Uh, but I love using these micro worms in all different settings. So I never leave home without these, especially in the summertime. Now, back to your fishing broadcast. Okay, time to give the spinner a chance. Well, it's starting to seem to me, everybody, that nothing is gonna have what it takes to beat the Singet Series jig, but I'm gonna give this a good shot. What I'm doing is I'm casting and moving about 10 feet down after every cast, working through this boulder field and trying to work my way all the way down river into areas that haven't been fished by anybody before. Um, I'm seeing a lot of trout roll and come to the surface, so I know they're there, but it just might be one of those things today that they're not wanting to chase down those lures. They want something that's coming to them and that they're not gonna have to expend a lot of energy to go and get, especially when the weather's hot like this and that water gets a little warmer. They will get a little more energetic, but also they'll get lethargic if the water gets too too warm so let's keep working down cast behind everything that we see see if we can catch one on the spinner oh there he was coming back for it just got slammer rama doodad out there holy shnikes i need to get a little further out there it is that's the cast. Mm, must have felt it, he didn't want it that time. He didn't want it that time, little. Well, I think it goes without even saying, the spinner is not working. So, time to try a micro worm. Okay, worm time. Let's see if we can get her done. Let's see if the Sink It Series jig is the only thing that will catch fish today. I highly doubt it. I don't want to think it, but at this point, I'm kind of feeling that way. Well, back to the sink it series. I'm getting bored. <laughs> okay then. I little thought that was mine. Got him. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is, finally. Finally, the Sinket Series came through again. Been working our butts off. Went through all different gear here and finally got into another fish. It has been, a, oh my God, what is this? Are we going to finish with what we started with? This looks like another either giant trout or another steelhead, everybody. It's a steelhead. It's a steelhead. Oh, wow. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Now he's awake. Now he's awake. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there he goes. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, oh. <laughs> what another magnificent creature. Almost a twin to the last one that we caught. Wow, look at this thing. Oh, geez, oh gosh, oh my, oh my. Oh, and he broke it. Well, we know that jig won. And I must say, what an absolutely epic show that one put on. Sorry, Mr. Fish, he got away with that one. There he is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The micro worm came through, guys. The floats are dominating. This one was on the trout float. Ooh, this is a bigger fish than I think it is. Oh, it's really big. 
It's really big, guys. It's really big. And it's on the ultra, ultra light. The two to six pounder. What do we have here? This might be another steelhead, you guys. Holy canopes. What is happening here? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's a real ripper. He is a real ripper. He's juking and he's a driving and I cannot control him with this tiny little rod. <laughs> this is what I call fun. So that versatility, you guys, you saw how today I've been switching back and forth is one thing is apparent that slower presentation, that more natural presentation in a super clear water is obviously what's working the best. Oh gosh. Oh, he's pulling hard. Oh, he's pulling really hard. Oh, oh, oh wow. He's kicking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on back to me. I cannot control this thing. Look at this rod, guys. It's super bendo, uber bendo, if you will. I am uber bendoed. Come on back to me. Oh, there you go. Oh, what a jump. Woohoo! That got a little out of his bed. Here he comes. Here comes the fish dog. So after just breaking the one off with the sinket series, I switched over to the worm and the very first cast with my micro worm. Finally, I was really waiting for something else to happen here. Oh, he is ripping me up. Oh my God, he's ripping me up. He's ripping me up, ripping me up. Oh, he's way out there now. Holy smokes. This thing has two lives. You know how cats have nine, fish have two. Come back to Papa. Come on back to Papa. we go. Here he comes. Oh, what a cool looking fish. There he goes again. Shh. Uber bendo on the old Guide Select Pro. Oh, he's a ripper. Oh man, I'm getting all crampy over here. I'm all crampy pants. Come on, buddy. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. What a healthy looking fish. Super, super cool colors on this one. Come on back. Come on, we're just gonna show you the camera. We just wanna give you your Kodak moment to the world. Your five minutes of fame. Oh, wow, what a cool fish. What a cool fish. This one actually has lines sticking out of his mouth already. He has been caught and lost before. Look at that, he's got a tiny little hook in his face. We're gonna do him some favor and get that thing out of there. Wow, look at that everyone. What an incredible fish. What an absolutely beautiful specimen. Thank you, buddy. We really appreciate you. We appreciate you showing the world that the micro worm is the mighty micro worm. And it worked, yeehaw. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice trout, nice trout. All bent up, all bent up. It's safe to say the floats are killing it. On all species, you guys, this has been the coolest day ever. Using tons of different methods, catching all kinds of different species of fish and having success in every single realm. The only thing that didn't work was the spinners and the jigs and everything but the bobbers. Another beautiful trout. Another perfect trout with the micro worm hanging out of his mouth. I'm so happy that these worked at the very end of the day here because this is exactly what I wanted to get them on. It's such a fun method and it works so well this time of year when these things are really keyed in on bugs, worms, and anything that's floating down the river naturally. There he is. All right, thank you little friend. Go on, have fun, and live. And I'm casting again. Well, everybody, I really hope that you learned some cool stuff on this video today. I had an absolute blast making it. This is my favorite time of year, doing some of my favorite stuff, wading around with my dog, eating snacks, and catching some awesome fish. If you guys wanna see more fun videos just like you saw here today, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below and you can be the comment of the day, just like this person right here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. You stay fishy, we'll see you out there.